Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are the different selection operators present in genetic algorithm with the help of simple examples. Parent selection is a process of choosing a set of chromosomes as parents for generating the next population. Uh, that can be done based on the different uh, possibilities like we can use the fitness value, threshold and so on. The parent selection operators have been divided into mainly three groups. One is known as uh, fitness based selection techniques, ordinal based selection techniques and uh, threshold based selection techniques. There are mainly two fitness based selection techniques. One is known as relative wheel selection technique and another one is stochastic universal sampling technique. In ordinal based, there are two techniques are there. One is known as ranking selection and another one is known as tournament selection. Threshold based technique is known as truncation selection in this case. So we'll discuss each of these techniques one by one with the help of a simple example here. First, we will start with the fitness based selection techniques. Fitness based selection is one of the most popular way of parent selection in genetic algorithm. In this method, uh, the individual can become the parent with a probability which is proportionate to its fitness. The fitter the individuals that have the higher chance of getting selected and uh, propagating their features to the next generation here. Now we will discuss uh, the first technique of uh, fitness based selection technique that is known as uh, relative wheel selection technique. So parents are selected according to their uh, fitness in this case. The chromosomes with a better uh, fitness have more chances of getting selected. For example, you can see here, uh, I have considered uh, six chromosomes and uh, the fitness value here. What we do is we represent each of these chromosomes on the top of this uh, relative wheel here. So uh, based on the fitness value, the size of this uh, relative wheel is assigned. For chromosome A, you can see here the fitness value is highest. So the slice of this uh, uh, chromosome on relative wheel is uh, higher in this case and uh, F is the, having the smallest uh, fitness value, that's the reason the slice of uh, chromosome F is the uh, smallest in this case. There is a fixed point is assigned on this uh, relative wheel. What we do is we will rotate this uh, relative wheel for selecting one parent at a time. Once you rotate it, after a certain period of time, the wheel will stop. Wherever this uh, fixed point is pointing, that parent is selected for uh, the reproduction and so on. So if you want to select uh, multiple number of parents, we have to repeat the same process. That is, you need to rotate this wheel. Wherever that uh, particular fixed point will uh, point at the end of that uh, rotation, that will be considered as the parent in this case. The implementation of uh, relative wheel selection technique is something like this. First, we need to calculate the sum of all uh, chromosome fitnesses. That is, we need to calculate the sum here. Let's say that sum is equal to yes. So what we need to do is for selecting one parent, we need to generate one random number in the range of 0 to S here. And then uh, what we need to do is we need to calculate the cumulative sum of uh, fitness. For example, for A, it will be 0 to 8.2 in this case. For uh, B, it will be 8.2, 2, you can say that 8.2 plus 3.2, that will become 11.4 here. For C, 11.4, Two, we can say that uh, 12.8 in this case because we need to add this 1.4. So let's assume that we have generated a random number that is uh, a 7 here. So what will happen? A will be selected as a parent in this case. We have generated a random number that is equal to 9. So B will be selected as a parent in this case and so on. So for the required number of parents, we need to generate a random number and then we need to check where it falls. Based on that, we will select the chromosome in this case. Coming back to the second uh, a fitness based selection technique that is known as a stochastic universal sampling technique. This is almost similar to the relative wheel selection technique, but in this case, rather than having one fixed point, we will be having multiple number of fixed points uh, that can be seen uh, in this uh, diagram here. So, with the help of this, we will be able to select multiple number of uh, parents at a given point of time here. Because we have multiple number of fixed points, uh, there is a possibility that each of the chromosomes will be selected uh, at least once. Uh, because if you use uh, a relative wheel selection technique, there is a possibility that uh, the chromosome with the highest fitness will be selected the maximum number of times. But in this case, uh, you can notice here, uh, the highest fitness value is selected as well as the lowest is also selected in this case. So that is the advantage of using a stochastic universal sampling technique in this case. Coming back to the ordinal based selection operators, the first one is known as ranking selection here. 
the previous selection techniques such as uh, relative well selection techniques or stochastic universal selection techniques have the problems when there is a huge difference between the fitnesses of different uh, chromosomes for example let us say that there is one chromosome with uh, 90% uh, of a fitness value and the remaining all of them are having the remaining 10% so what will happen here is you can notice on the relative wheel uh, for chromosome 1 there is a maximum slices given for the remaining there is only 10% of slices given so whenever you rotate it there is a maximum chance that the chromosome 1 will be selected again and again in this case so that is a problem with respect to the relative wheel selection technique so what we do here is every individual in the population is ranked along according to their uh, fitnesses but on relative will uh, for everyone will be given the equal uh, slices here for example in this case there are six uh, chromosomes are there each of them are having exactly same uh, uh, the size on this uh, relative wheel so because of this uh, what happens is uh, whenever you rotate this uh, relative wheel um, almost all the time we will get the different chromosomes there is no we can say that partiality or favoritism for a particular chromosome in this case so that is the advantage of using uh, ranking based selection techniques here the second ordinal based selection technique is known as uh, tournament selection here so in this case what we do is uh, we use uh, uh, the variable k here uh, we will select k individuals from the population at random at the initial state you can see here these are the set of chromosomes out of that uh, in this case i have selected three that is k is equal to three in this case so we have selected uh, three uh, chromosomes randomly once you select three uh, chromosomes randomly out of these three the one which is having the fittest uh, chromosome that will be selected here so a is the fittest one so we will be selected uh, a here similarly if you want to select one more parent we will select again uh, three uh, chromosomes randomly let's assume that we have selected w uh, f and r out of these three we will select the fittest one let's assume that f is the fittest one we will select f as the parent in this case so that is the process what we follow in tournament selection techniques here coming back to the last one that is known as threshold based selection techniques uh, in this case we have a truncation selection here so whenever we have a very large population so what actually happens is uh, selecting a particular parent is a very difficult task so what we do here is uh, in truncation selection all chromosomes are sorted according to their uh, fitnesses let's assume that we have some 100 chromosomes just for understanding purpose i will take this number so we will sort the chromosomes and then we will uh, arrange them in a descending order uh, and then what we do is we will set some threshold in this case uh, for example we will set the threshold as uh, 0.6 as the value here all those uh, chromosomes with a uh, threshold value more than this 0.6 will be selected at the initial stage let's assume that out of 140 chromosomes have a fitness value more than 0.6 so what we do here we will select this uh, only 40 uh, chromosomes and then what we do is uh, we will select the some set of chromosomes from this particular 40 rather than considering all 100 uh, chromosomes in this case so that is what actually we do in this uh, truncation selection here so this is how the threshold based selection operator works in a genetic algorithm in this video i have discussed the different uh, selection operators in genetic algorithm i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching